Hey everybody, Jabba the Griffin here. Got for you today a quote-unquote lower bracket match, uh, or as us winners call them, uh, losers bracket. We have Astamatidos versus Georgie, uh, as some people like to refer to him, but I do not see an E there, so that is definitely Gorgi. Anyway, both these players in the lower half, which is surprising. They they both both been playing really well. Uh, they they dropped this this one's off the top of the dome. Let's see if I can remember. It's Asta lost to Star last round, and uh, New Boy lost to. Uh, you know what? I I have it up. I think I can pull it up real quick. Uh, upper bracket H clat. He dropped to H clat. Who's been having a really good run. So anyway, loser of this match gets uh, straight dumpstered out of the tournament. And they get to go train in the mountains for approximately a year. Or whenever Callus feels like hosting the next one. If he, he does host another one. He's been promising that he's going to leave. And he will not be one of those people who sticks around till he's 40, 50, 60. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop a big... X to doubt on that one, but you know we'll, we'll see what happens. Maybe maybe GG fan will come back and, and uh, insult his honor, uh, and they'll fight to the death, and then you know that's when that's when we lose him. Anyway, let's jump into this match. As you can see, we got we got a couple doggos facing off. Uh, I hate myself for saying that. We have Jolteon against it against Suicune. Uh, obviously favorable for Asta. Typically here, maybe you push Baton Pass or you push Sub if you got it. So, you know, this is always a situation where uh, Gorgie himself can try and get a little fancy. You know what? I'll just call him Floppy for the, for the rest of the set. Uh, and he can he can do something like maybe Roar or he can to Scout or if it's a Sub that's a good catch. He can he can just Surf. Uh, or, you know, since it's game one in this series, he can just play a little more conservatively and just, you know, switch out. But let's uh, let's jump into it. And Asta does sub, and then he'll BP this sub. Uh, it looks like that's a Barry. Maybe we could be seeing something crazy like Liechi on there. Could obviously be Lum, because Lum leads are pretty popular these days, but... You know, it's cooler if it's Liechi, so I'm going to be hoping for Liechi. Uh, Asta diving right into the T-Tar to get the uh, the DDs up. Staying in with Blissey and just throwing a Stoss at it is probably one of the worst ways to deal with a DD-Tar. Uh, so assuming the Rock Slide comes in here, now he just... Uh, that's got to be pumped to kill through probably. Surf won't do the job, likely, so he'll probably go for the Rock Slide flinch. And that doesn't look uh, like it has any special attack EV, so definitely probably doesn't have pump. Definitely, probably. Anyway, he just roars out, doesn't get the flinch. Uh, Asta probably would have just rolled there. Uh, Asta switches the jolt into the Suicune that was in on the pert and just gets crit. Uh, Asta running double electric, but he's very far down right now. And that also does not have lefties. So looks like he's running double double something, having having some sort of fun. Uh one of my favorite things to do with this lately is to run this as uh subliechi into Marowak. Uh since we haven't seen something like uh Ice Beam, you know, maybe this is uh this is when you go. That's that's bad for Asta. He's going to have to burn a turn off later to get whatever berry that is because of the sand. That's why I don't really like mixing sand with uh with my sub berries. It just gets all fucky. And as as you saw last round, I had a laughing fit at a similar situation. Uh obviously the same is not going to happen in this match, unfortunately. Uh Claydol just straight, straight up beats us. This does not look like a good match for Asta right here. Uh, I mean, having hopefully Mop Cross here. No, that's Focus Punch. So that'll trunk the, the Gyarados for probably near like 50, 40. Oh, that's a very bulky. Or, you know, that's definitely not. Uh, 
uh, CB sub sub punch. A lot of a lot of fucking berries <laughs> with Aston. This is just a berry squad. It's fun on paper, but clearly this is not the matchup for it. Uh, so this is what like sub punch mop cross. Looks like unless he has the the perfect setup sweeper, maybe he gets that sand turn and zap those right here, and then we can see the the berry pop off. It is Liachi. Uh, Gorgie's team overall is uh, pretty slow. So maybe he doesn't need the speed yet. Uh, just mash here and then Gorgie will probably... Oh, he goes for the agility. I would assume the EQ would uh, two-hit kill from here. So getting the speed there doesn't really mean a lot. I'd probably rather just... Oh, wow. <laughs> This is just a very I love I love it. It's so fun on paper, but clearly not great in practice. Uh, I, I bet this doesn't even kill from here. I maybe we'll run a calc after that. I don't really want to because there's too many unknowns, but uh, I want to say no. Uh, but it's really entirely dependent on the Claydol. Claydol can be EV'd a lot of ways, and obviously we haven't seen a single hit onto the Claydol, so we have no... Absolutely no idea what we're looking looking at. So maybe on the uh, defense week, Clay Dolls, you're looking at a kill there. But either way, he missed, so it's irrelevant. Uh, and this is just going to be a, a, a cleanup for uh, for the flopster. So really, really easy game one. Uh, Asta just brought <laughs> brought a hilarious team. I, I really I like it. It's unique. Uh, unfortunately, it just uh maybe better suited for uh for the latter <laughs> uh unless you know you know maybe perk per could always pull something off that could be a berry too it isn't it's the one the the berry the the one non berry didn't didn't go all out and bring the uh endeavor perk to uh to really bring the team home decided he needed a, a pivot there instead of uh instead of another berry sweeper not like it would have mattered but it would have been it would have been hilarious corgi with the the counter bliss unfortunately this is a game i feel like you can probably only pull this off once in a series and this clearly was not a game where he needed it so it's unlikely he's going to bring another counter bliss um, yeah because you can only really pop that surprise once Anyway, really easy match for, for Gorgi. Uh, Aston Matitos brought the heat straight flame. Uh, I loved it. Unfortunately, it was not effective whatsoever. I would have liked to see that Meteor Mash hit the Claydol. And, you know, it still wouldn't... I mean, is the Suicune still... No, no, the Suicune would have died to the EQ. Probably. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but we, you know, have no idea what's in the back. So, anyway, let's just jump into the second game, and uh, hopefully, let's let's see roles reverse. Let's see, let's see, let's see, uh, Floppy bring his bring his level of cheese, and then ask to bring his. You know, I I, I did say you know early or during the, the pairing reveals, the first round pairing reveals, that Asta is kind of known for being the, the standard Bliss guy. Uh, he's been proving me wrong a lot this tournament. But matches like this make me wonder if he shouldn't go back to that. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Asta. Love you, buddy. Let's, uh, let's get the game, too.